Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you things that you need to start off with polymer clay. So let's just get started. Or Sculpey clay or Primo or just any time kind of oven baked clay. So the first thing that you're going to need of course is some type of clay. This is Sculpey 3 and it's in the color blue pearl. pearl. This is Primo and it's in the color, I think, Elzerian Crimson Hue. You will also need some type of <clears throat> tool or tools and you do not necessarily need these but they are very, very helpful when you're texturing to make things look, look real. Here is a texturing tool. You can get these tools from Michaels, Joanne Fabrics, or possibly Joanne Fabrics, um, and really any type of craft store. This is a needle tool. You can just use a toothpick. You might also want some clay softener. If your clay gets hard and you want it to get softer, then you could just mix this up with the clay, knead it, and your clay will become soft. And this is by Sculpey Brand. You might also want to have some type of glaze. And if you don't have glaze, you can use a clear nail polish after it's done baking. It's extremely important that you do not use it while it's baking. This is by Sculpey, also the brand. You might also want some findings. That is an eye pin, that is an earring, and that is a jump ring. You can use a jump ring to attach to an earring. It's used for jewelry, and I can do another detailed video. Earring and an eye pin. You can use an eye pin to make it have, um, to make it be a charm. And you might also want some cornstarch so the clay doesn't stick to your surface, rolling pins, and you in molds. So you just don't want it to stick. I made a big mess when I did that. <laughs> the last things are TLS or and or liquid polyclay. You can use these to mix up with pastels and I'm going to do a and if you would like, I'm going I will do a detailed video on this and you can mix up pastels which I'm going to show you next. And you can make peanut butter like fake peanut butter, fake jelly, just different things with it. And of course, I will do a detailed video if you would like. These are pastels, and I'm going to show you how to use them, because these are very important in clay if you want to make your things look realistic. So right now, I'm just making a fake sugar cookie, and I know I cut this way too thick. Now let's bake it or pastel it. The brown pasteling makes it look baked. This is not my best job of pasteling, but if you put a dark brown on the sides, it will make it look baked and a lot more realistic. As you can see here. <clears throat> 